Hey guys, this is Carnifex, another nerd this video. Uh, as, again, so people people kind of were making some jokes last time whenever I did the video, am I sleeveless, going about to work out. Um, so I'm just rolling with it because, again, I, I spent more time than I probably should have today um, working on uh, talking with the devs and some of the other content creators because there were potentially some, some, some shakeups um, that we're going to be coming in this update in the next few days here. Um, and so I just felt like, Hey, there's, there's an urgent, an urgent need to communicate some stuff here. And so I usually work out like after I get done with work. And so, uh, the, the new thing I'm coming with, if you see the sleeves, you best, be if, you're, if you see no sleeves, you best believe because it meant that I was not planning on doing this and I didn't really have the time to do this, but I thought it was important enough to do it anyway. So here's your video. So, um, uh, long story short, if you haven't watched my video already on the updates in the next, uh, uh, in the next patch that are coming, go ahead and watch this video. I'm gonna throw it up here. You might kind of be a little confused with the context, even though I think that the kind of the warning that's present in this is still. You don't need to watch the video to get the warning, but it will throw into some context to help it make a bit more sense. So, uh, long story short, the devs were not psyched to see Meta though and Dragon Law Gaming soloing Solius and Hard Orc in Tier 7. They were not pumped about that. Um, not because they are like angry and mean or whatever, but because it's not the stage of the game where they plan for that to be possible yet. Um, they're still working on building up more content, still releasing up more characters that are going to help us clear Tier 7 faster. And so to have it be done by some of these kind of more, you know, random-y characters, frankly, um, it just wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't what they wanted. And I don't think it's good. I think, don't think it's good for the game if we were able to do that. And I talked about that in my video as well. So the, as I talked about in the video before, as a part of seeing that they were uh, planning on boosting the tenacity of the raid bosses, depending on their tier. So originally the tier seven bosses only had 15% uh, tenacity which is really low. And that's one of the things I want to make really clear is it should have never been that low. Um, it was it was never good for it to be that low. I don't know what kind of went into that. I'm not like being like harsh or critical or anything. I'm just saying, you know, based on my experience in other games, uh, I mean, you don't need to go full out dark side Geonosis territory battles, right? Where it's impossible to stick anything without tenacity down. Um, but I remember whenever we had, you know, the Rancor at the beginning of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, it was really hard to s consistently stick stuff on the Rancor. It was really hard. And so solos were a, a joke. Even if you had a character like Rex, who was able to give that turn meter reduction on his basic, right? So as many turns as he wanted, 100% of the time. And this was when he was pretty new. So that was like really significant. There was nothing else really like that. Even with that, you weren't able to do solo runs. It wasn't until TIE Fighter Pilot came around. TIE Fighter Pilot, on a crit, applied tenacity down with his basic. And that is what allowed us to start consistently landing everything from speed to term your reduction. Which term, that's one of the other changes, too. Like, they're making term your reduction resistible. It was always, it's always been resistible in these other games, so they're just kind of adapting to get to where some of these other games uh, decided were, were better. So, um... And none of this is criticism of the devs. In fact, like the fact, I'll, I'll get into it a little bit later. But basically, it was it was potentially gets kicked up a notch because Meta though and Dragon Law Gaming, even after this increase from 15% to 78.2, were still able to solo Hard Orc and Solius. And so the you know devs saw they're like, hey, like okay, this hasn't achieved what we want. Do we need to bump it up again? And so I know at least particularly Meta though and I and then uh, Dorian Blade as well got involved a little later. And we were just like, I would. We're already doing a big jump here. I don't think a number above 78% would have been wrong if it had been that way from the gate. But we've been investing in characters, right, with that 17%. And so 78, as I talked about in my other video I made yesterday, which I'll post that up here too, 78% is not that hard for most characters we are using in the raid right now to manage with one potency set and a potency primary. It's not that bad. It might result in a little bit of dip in how frequently you're hitting things and you might have to take off your crit chance set which means you're critting eight percent less of the time so it's not nothing but it's not it's not earth shattering it's not i'm quitting the game you know level 
uh, change. It's not. It's really not. It would be overreaction theater to think it was. They were planning on bumping it up to potentially uh, a little higher than that. And uh, But, again, this is not criticism. This is The, the devs are just kind of reacting, right? They're saying we can't, the game can't be here yet for the good of the game, so we've, we've got to make this change. But um, uh, Meta, though, Dorian Blade and myself were able to kind of convince the devs, hey, it, leave this leave this jump as is don't go bigger than that consider some other alternatives for how you want to kind of um how you want to kind of mitigate the effects of turn meter reduction you know so don't punish the bleed characters right just because there's turn meter characters i mean you look at the teams that they're using none of them even apply a bleed and yet the bleed characters are kind of almost getting like a nerf almost because the raid bosses are being elevated to the tenacity levels that they should have had from the beginning but again we didn't know it at the time so that's why we're building them that was an effective way to get through things because there was a lower tenacity table to pass so uh the main reason that this has kind of been any additional mechanics or whatever to mitigate these characters that you can see up on the screen here have been postponed is because little batty is not going to be seven stars for basically anyone until early mid january and even then it's going to only be a few people and they may not have her abilities up all the way and you really do need that basic up all the way to consistently get the rng you need for a solo run particularly at the 78.2 percent so as it, it's staying right the, the good, no news is good news right now, 78.2%. It's staying as it was, as according to the other video. But I say this, you guys understand how serious they are about preventing solos in tier seven for the time being. So if you see a video that comes out, which there's nothing wrong with anyone making a video showing this, right? They're showing you cool stuff. Um, that's what content creators are here for. Cool stuff, interesting stuff, stuff you need to know, help, all that's, that's what we're supposed to be making. And if there's a team capable of soloing the raid, someone should make a video about that and post it um but they're they're really the devs are really serious about preventing solos for the time being and so if you see a video come out that features that that does not mean go pour your resources into someone because they're probably going to change it just like with wonder lula right they came out real quick said hey this is not operating as intended right her basic was hitting like three times it was actually bugged like broken um don't there's gonna be a big change and at that point if you invested in wonder lula after that you were you were trying to milk her during that time and you're allowed to do that but when the nerf comes that makes her right you can't complain about it so i'm just trying to avoid that buyer's remorse because i don't want people to again go like oh look with the game and because i get it, it can be super frustrating when you put a lot into a character and all of a sudden it's not the same as what it was a couple of days ago just because it was too good and that's why you put the stuff into it anyway so want to make sure you know so that you don't have that happen because i really enjoy this game i'm gonna i'm not i'm not gonna lie i skipped a lot of the story in the beginning but it's actually kind of interesting um i've kind of been just like a player for the most part i, I haven't uh when i'm doing these games i don't care a ton about the stories like when i play uh, galaxy heroes obviously there wasn't much there but um until you did like the uh the legendary events but when i did like strike force and some other games i was like I don't, I don't know, I was, wasn't really compelled by it, but just because this is a unique IP with no, like, background, like, you can't, you don't have before knowledge about this, it's actually pretty cool, um, so I, I like this game, I think that their, their, their pricing of things is much better compared to some of these, uh, kind of, like, almost, like, AAA, like, mobile games where they have a, a really valuable pre-existing IP, and for me, it's like, I, I would, I'm totally down to be, playing a game with new characters that I'm not familiar with, learning like new storylines and stuff. And if it's going to be cheaper for me to be able to kind of like help myself out a little bit and get a little more out of it, that's great for me. So um, these these four guys right here, right? I'm just saying, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying don't go into them at all. I'm saying whatever you do, go into it with the expectation that at some point you might see a boss. You know, a couple bosses, right? Solius and Hardwork are the ones we're talking about. Because it's hard. You can't, you can't solo Mega Wheel yet, even with all this, these Gear 11, Max Ability, Crazy Runes, etc. You can't do it yet. Um, but don't be surprised if at some point we see on Solius and Mega Wheel some kind of, hey, they, they only get half their turn meter reduced. You know, don't be surprised by that. Don't be surprised if you see there's kind of like, hey, every single time that turn meter is reduced, it means that the boss is going to resist 1% more. So like the 10th time you reduce turn meter, it's only it's going to reduce, you know, if it's Master Duo, right, it's going to reduce 20. 
and that'll eventually ebb even more and more until now you've got a bunch of squishy peeps getting knocked. So, and even then, they may not be a terrible team. Um, looks like Meta, though, was saying that they're, they're going to be nowhere near, they're probably not even going to be 10% if those kinds of changes go in, because these guys weren't meant to be run this way. And that's one of the things that's cool about theory crafting. You can find out some of this stuff, but if it breaks the game, that's not doing what you want it to do. That's not going to create a good circumstance for the game. So, you know, if there is some kind of incremental thing where, like, hey, every single time you reduce turn meter, it loses 1% of effectiveness almost, then if you just run Master Duo, you're really not going to notice that much on it because he's usually only going to take like 10, 12, maybe 15 turns. So that means at worst, he's going to be only reducing half the turn meter, which is 15%, which is still not nothing. Um, so they're going to make it towards not, not running these guys as a crew to get that done. Uh, once you know that, because <laughs> I don't want you to sink stuff in and just like drop the game, rage quit, right? Um, so that's all that. Just making sure you know there there is no confirmation about what kind of ways they'll go about it. They may just boost up uh, tenacity a little more again. They may couple a little boost with tenacity with some of these kind of mechanics that we're talking about. None of this is confirmed. This is all speculation. These are things that like other content creators and I were throwing out as alternatives to continue just kind of look at the tenacity and forcing people to essentially run with full potency runes, and then we're still being able to get the same effects anyway. It, it, the answer is not just tenacity, and that's what, um, that's what we were kind of like trying to throw out there with our testing. So um, last little nugget, um, I had someone ask, hey, I saw that sheet from your, um, how you guys, you guys talked about how you did raid tracking for uh, like scores for people's damage and stuff. So I'm gonna show you, I created a little thing. It's basically just the shell of what we used at, um, of gods and legends i literally just like copy paste copy paste emptied all the stuff blah so you're again you're gonna have to create you have to go in here right and go make a copy right and because right it's going to be locked because i don't want anyone else to be able to come in and whether it's do something on accident do something on purpose do something silly um this, it's going to be this way whenever you get it whenever you make a copy you'll be able to unlock it to have the permissions yourself so um as you can see like right here i know what my uh my uh <laughs> Things kind of in the way here. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying the new location, like some people were suggesting. So, uh, you know, it's just it's really simple. Hey, here's here's my name. Here's the damage I've put out on these characters. Um, I think one of the things that's important is on Solius and Heart uh, Solius. Don't whenever you do a recorded score, so right when you take a screenshot or something, right? You get to that damage screen. You know where it shows. Hey, here's all the damage the individual characters did. This is the amount of damage I did on the boss overall. Take a. You just you know snapshot that right screenshot it and you you know message it along on discord or whatever to uh one of your officers whoever it is it's collecting the data whenever you do this when you do your solius run don't use anyone you're going to use on hard orc or mega wheel now for us we used a lot of teams that people would have optimally used on hard orc on mega wheel you can use a lot of people ran their hard orc team against mega wheel because we had enough damage from hard orc um don't worry about that with the dragon because it's going to, yeah, just don't do it. But with Solius in particular, exclusively use characters that you would not use on these teams whenever you're trying to give your officers an idea of how much damage you can put out because you need to really have two solid teams that you're throwing out there. Um, so anyway, you know, you put, if you have healers in the top 10 because... Sometimes we build a lot of um, damage dealers for uh, specific kind of like events and things because, as you, if, if in case you didn't hear, like I, my my gear eleven ninety L was able to with a bunch of gear eights get seven star ember, so boosting up your damage you can do a lot. Want to make sure to have kind of a couple healers though that are solid, have enough um, gear and therefore protection and health to sustain for a little while, and just to give them an idea like hey overall. The, the, here's kind of like the, the the composition. I've got four magic DPS, two physical DPS, and then they can look here. Okay, he's got two healers, but he's got two tanks in the rest of that top ten. So that helps him out there. And then also raid assignments. So I'm gonna pull this back down. Uh, again, this is not like rocket science, right? There's no like formulas in here. Just uh, so you go and you just add these all together, right? And at the bottom, you can even do something like, you know, equals, um, right? Doink, doink, something like this, right? And this 
can then track the amount of damage because you just basically you just take it from I'm gonna shrink this because it's okay really special spatial okay you can go into your damage tracker right and you just copy like boom I copy this put it in right here because I know I want to I know I want to assign Karn effects to that right so boom and it can track all of that for you remember that you will see a decrease right here of about 20 to 25 percent of your t6 output to your t7 so whenever you do this if you want to do it right and i'll probably just leave this in here now um, do this and then times you know point just to be safe seven five now you can see it's automatically going to sum that all in um, so you can use this to kind of, and i'll go ahead and, and finish that and make it a little pretty too, just so, just because I think that is kind of useful now that I see. <laughs> but um, this way you can kind of like, okay, when I know that this guy's gone in and hit, just for easier tracking, I can just make that yellow, right? Uh, you don't have to use any of this stuff whenever you get it. Someone, a couple people just asked, hey, what did you guys use to track this? It'd be really nice if you could provide a spreadsheet or something. So here it is, I'm cutting me off. I gotta get my workout in, because I'm going to a little Christmas party thing later, but have a good one guys, and uh, see you next time. You see this leaf. You see no sleeves. You better believe.